from yesterday, opens. We had Alan on the board, four opens. And uh, for sales, we got Mr. T.G. Lover with what close what sale? Five ninety nine. T.G. Lover. And Lahara, who is obviously a little late today. He's coming in from Lahara. Yes, he is. Uh, he also had a closing on sale. Split two hundred today. Uh, two ninety nine. Thirty days. yesterday's stats, normally I crumple it up and do something cool with it, but unfortunately today I also wrote, in an effort to be green conscious, I wrote my notes for today's morning meeting on the same page. So therefore, I cannot quite destroy it just yet. So <laughs> we'll have to wait. But today, what I'm going to talk about is perhaps one of the most powerful tools in sales. If then to a 
agree with you. It's extremely powerful, guys, because when it's hypothetical, you can guarantee yourself that they will agree with it, because you can just create some type of scenario that there's no way they're not going to agree with, you know? If I could show you a way to follow up with your past clients without you having to change the way you do business, I'd imagine that'd be something you'd want to look into, right? There's your tie-down, Teddy. Mm -hmm. He's going to say, well, yeah, who would say no to that, right? That's like saying, hey, you don't have to change anything you're doing, I'm going to give you an extra hundred bucks a day. No, I don't want it. No, no, I'd rather, rather be a hundred dollars less in my pocket. I don't want to, I don't feel like having to grab the money and put it in my pocket. That's too much work. Who's going to say that? No one. So when you can create hypothetical scenarios that are that much of a no-brainer that you know there's no possible way they will say no, that's when you are becoming a salesman. That is when you are becoming a true sales professional. Because the best guys are very, very good at doing that. And the third thing that, we're going, that I want to talk about real quick is, you know, how to use it. Which is, everybody got this written down? Yeah. Yep. Cool. So, I'm going to need a lot of space for how to use it, because you can use it in so many different ways. Alright, so some of you give me some, uh, some ideas of how you can use an if-then statement. You guys already said one way, which was the trial close. I'll put that up there. Hot buttons. Yep. Uh, <coughs> Tie down the hot button. Uh, <coughs> to um, intrigue or, or get like to get the prospect more interested. Yes. Yep. Very nice. <coughs> in a certain direction. Sure. To guide, to guide the conversation. To help get another decision maker to meet with you in a presentation. Um. If I could show you and your husband a way that you can increase your profit margin without having to do any more work, I mean, that would be something that he's interested in. He would definitely want to see that, wouldn't he? If you threw it then in there, it would work, and it would be considered a trial close right there. The one you did before didn't have a, a then in I know, and I corrected myself. Oh. Because this is What's an if-then statement. It's not an if statement. This is an if-then <laughs> statement. Well, there you go. Um, so, a couple other things. Uh, anybody else got any guess before I give you a couple others? You guys may not be aware of? I think that's all I got. Oh, to, um, to help um, like negate a, a another competitor, you know, if they're looking at other people, you know. If I can show you something that's just right in line with what you're looking for, then you don't really need to look at anything else, do you? Handle objections? Mm -hmm. You can use it as a goal for the version too. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can. Now we're thinking outside the box. You guys are now starting to see how versatile this thing really is. And here you guys thought it was just for trial closes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 that was creepy. <laughs> I'm stoked, guys, because you're learning. <coughs> you know, got a tight-knit group. I told everybody I was going to build the Delta Force of sales. You are the chosen soldiers that I'm going to train into the Delta Force. And, well, not anymore. <laughs> well, sorry about that. that, everyone. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is good stuff, guys. Here's a couple other ones that you guys may or may not have thought of. How about ask permission to handle objections? Yeah. Perfect. So, I mean, if I could help you with the money, then would you consider moving forward with me? How many times have we said that? Oh, every day. All the time, right? We don't even realize it. Yeah. So we use it to ask permission to handle the objection, because after you present a price, it's a whole different ball game. You have to be very, very kitty cat in your approach, because there's a lot of tension naturally in the prospect's mind. And you have to diffuse that tension. And the if-then statement is a perfect way to do that. Another thing is checking the polls.
So if we're going to start following up with your database and you have, you know, two, 200 people's emails, then how many jobs and referrals would we get, do you think? Right? So any type of hypothetical scenario you can think of, you can use an if-then statement. It is so versatile. So now that we know that, we're going to do a little drill. We're going to drill it a little bit. I'm going to go around the table. I'm going to be a prospect. You guys are going to be the Delta Force sales. And uh, we're going to go through one at a time, and we will give different scenarios of how you guys are going to use this from one of the different ways up there. So you guys are going to pick one of the different ways from up there, and then we're going to do a little role play. Make sense? Who would like to go first? Either you or you. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, anyone. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to go first? Out of you two. <laughs> you go first? Alright, Alex, which one are we going to use this for? We'll do the uh, hot button. Hot button? Okay, perfect. So, uh, you're going to go ahead and start it off with a starter question to create the hot button, and then I'll play into it. Okay. Okay? Alright. So, so uh, what do you specialize in? Uh, I specialize in uh, spinal decompression, nutritional counseling, and I also specialize in um, sports injuries as well. Okay. And then, uh, what type of clients would you like to see more of? You know, I'd like to see more spinal decompression because they have to come back for an extended amount of time. Okay. So, if I can get you some more spinal decompression patients, uh, what would that do for you? Uh, it certainly would keep me busy and help uh, get more revenue. Sure. Okay. Well, if I can show you a way that's going to keep you busy, ultimately generate some revenue for you, then that'd be something that you'd consider, right? Yeah, absolutely. Good. Yeah. That was good. simultaneously making you more money 
then wouldn't that open up more time and a little bit more dough for you to spend on your go-kart riding habit? It is a habit. <laughs> it's a filthy habit. It's expensive. And yes, it would. <laughs> You'd be out there zipping it up with all the 12-year-olds, right? <laughs> I would. Cool. I would. Don't underestimate those 12-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe go pace Good, man. Pink Good. Pink Comment, I'm going to take you out to our party and watch you fail. Oh, dude, I'll, I'll smoke you, bro. Days of Thunder. I'll watch that movie. I'll play, I'll play the Spencer Davis uh, group uh, song while you're doing it, too. Um, I'm just Teddy. a big, fat, hairy winning machine. Has, has the ask permission to handle objection been done? Uh, it has not. Okay, I'll do that one. Then. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, Kelly, <coughs> you like what I've shown you so far. Yes. You see how, by having all of these things in place, you're going to be able to keep in touch with your clients, you know, automatically ask for referrals, get more repeat business, and just get overall better presence and be an ultimate resource for your clients? Yes. All right, so, if the price is right, then are we going to be working together today? Yes, however, that is not as the person to handle the objection. That is, uh, uh, that's, an iso that's an objection isolation technique before you present price. Very Shatner. Although it's very good. It was perfect. It was and it, but that, that wouldn't fall. It, if I already said price is my uh, objection, you said, well, I mean, if I can help you with the money, mm. then would you consider moving forward? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you want to try it again? Yes, try it again. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, so are you going to... Do I, do I need to get an objection from you first then so we can do this? <laughs> yeah, objection, I need to talk to somebody. Okay. Who do you get to right. to? So just so I'm clear, uh, you need to speak with someone. Yes, I need to speak with someone other than you. Okay, well, aside from needing to speak with someone, uh, is there anything else holding us back from moving forward today? No, it's got to speak to somebody. All right. Well, um, if I gave you the time to speak to someone, and that someone gave you the green light to go, then would you at least consider it? Well, yeah, of course. Great, I'll uh, call you back tomorrow. Appreciate the time. Hey. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We need to correct the, that yeah. one right there. Yeah, Mitt, yeah. awesome yeah. training opportunity. Exactly. Absolutely. You just gave him the way out. Yeah. You're like, well, if I can show you to the door, <laughs> then yes. would you call me back later? Yes. You know, and if it was done properly, then I wouldn't have done that. Yes. So, yes. If, you so I will, if I show you how to do it properly, then I'd imagine you'll do it well the next time around. Yeah, and if <sighs> I come into the meeting again and do this wrong twice, <laughs> I'm probably going to hate myself. Well, <laughs> if you hate yourself, then I, if, it would be my responsibility to boost you up. This is oh. yeah. If James Russell could hold his opinions to himself, then we would have a a, a much more positive meeting. Yeah. <laughs> hey. uh, the if-then statement is so uh, diverse. Uh, um, but but no, so if, if it's a partner, you go, if I could show you why it's really not needed to talk to your partner, then, I mean, would you consider it? Yeah. That or... If I could show you why right now, at this moment, you are actually the one with all the information. So you're the one who's most prepared to make a decision. And that made perfect sense to you. Then, would you at least, you know, consider hearing me out and, you know, moving forward today? Kitty cat, kitty cat. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Here we go, Pastor. What you got? Pick one. Fancy. You pick one. Well, we've already <laughs> done chalk clothes, hot button, create interest, visualize. You can guide the conversation. I don't know. I think you guys, <laughs> I'm choose the, the one that I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, uh, that's kind of a weird one. Already done aspiration, handle objection. Go for guide the conversation. You don't have to do what nobody's done before. You could do it. You can do hot buttons. You can do cold call conversion. I would say guide the question. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, nice. Hey, not interested. Show you a way that would save you some time, save you money, and bring you in more business. I mean, wouldn't you give me five minutes to hear me out? So and close! Close! So, so freaking close. close! What do you think you missed? Uh, then you missed fifty percent of the statement. The... <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. It was it's so perfect, perfect though. Not interested. Not interested. I mean, if I could show you time, I mean, show you. In a, 
the efficient way to bring in more clients that'll save you money and, and let you go out and eat, eat more dinners with the wife. I mean, wouldn't then wouldn't it be profitable for you to eat uh, <laughs> There you go. All right. I hate eating dinner with my wife. Yeah. There you go. Show your hands. Alan, what you got? Now, uh, visualize. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So if I can, if I can sh uh, visualize you away. You actually. Uh, <laughs> you went straight at it. You went straight for it. That's why we drill, baby. Like, yeah. You get out of the pool, you know, if I can visualize you away. If I can <laughs> throw you up, Cole Scotty. Cole All right, let's go. Cold yeah. Cold Cold Cold. Hey, I've already had this call. Well, I'm sure you get a, a calls like this all the time. Um, the reason that we do different here. Uh, no, no, no. You can start out with, I know you get calls like this all the time, but if I could, if I there could, you go. If, if I could show you a way, all I need, the truth of the matter is all I need, 60 seconds of your time, if we should ever do business again. No. No? no. <laughs> That's a cold call conversion, and I'm proud of you for using it. <laughs> uh, but, no, that would not, uh, that would, see, we have cold call conversions designed to handle those uh, you know, knee-jerk reaction objections, but also you can use an if-then statement to do it. So if he goes, I already had this call, and I go, well, if I could show you why I'm different from all those other calls and show you that I truly have something of value for businesses, then wouldn't you give me three minutes to find out if it's a good fit for you? See? Got it. Want to try it again? Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, let's, uh, let's go with uh, uh, no time. You have no time. Well, you know, all I need is about 60 seconds. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, I probably confused you with that one. Yeah, you are. Uh, let's do. Let's go back to. Uh, I already had this call. I already had this call. Well, I'm sure you get calls like this all the time. Truth is, I only need about sixty seconds of your time to show you if we ever need to speak again. And if, if? oh, you just say if you got it going. <laughs> you say if you, you can still make this happen. Yeah. yeah. If if you can actually. Uh, oh, you got this. You can do this. You gotta do it. If. I could show you. If I could show you. Why? Why? Oh. I, I, mean, I I'm, Why I'm different. Sure. Why I'm different. Three minutes down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, woo yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good. Fumbled, you know what? It's all good. Right. You're a style, baby. Style. Yeah, yeah. Three minutes in. All right, I'm going to do. Handling objection? Yeah. So okay. I'm going to pretend that your objection was, uh, yeah, uh, don't have time. Okay. I don't have time. All right. Well, um, if I can show you a way to save a bunch of time and still earn more clients simultaneously, could we take five minutes at a time that's convenient for tomorrow? That was what he missed. The then. A little then. That's good. Yeah. That yeah. yeah. then, you know, that's a yeah. sneaky, yeah. sneaky yeah. one. I'll try again. Yeah. All right. Go. So I say, uh, well, if I can show you a way to save some more time and earn some more clients simultaneously, then can we take five minutes at a time that's convenient for the both of us tomorrow? Yes! Yeah. There we go. That's it, guys. That's the if-then statement. These are the multitude of ways you can use it. We know what it is. We know what the purpose of it is. And we know the different applications to use it. This thing is... It's like a universal socket wrench. You can use yeah. it for so many different things. It's, that's how powerful it is to become a master of it. It's like a Swiss Army knife of, uh, of, the, of the old... A absolutely. It's, a, it's like a Swiss Army phrase. Yeah. I just, I just patented that. Swiss Army phrase. Actually, I had something to do with that. I like can of versatility. You guys... You, what? I, or versatility in a can. Versatility in a can. I think it's more like a Leatherman, actually. <laughs> I like to keep my use my euphemisms American, so um, yeah. I okay, I just said leather. Go with Phillips. I'm gonna go with the Allen wrench. Like, oh, <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, any questions on that? Wait a minute. That's any metric. questions? That is, that is <laughs> distinctly <laughs> European. Yeah. All right, get out there, hit it up. I want to talk to France.